amazing how much of our life we spend suffering. It's so easy for us to imagine that every situation we're supposed to try and make things different from how they are, try to be different from who we are, what we are. When we look at the root of this anxiety, the root cause of this ongoing habit of suffering, we can see that we're, in every case, imagining that this is not enough. So we can't be with this how it is. And we imagine that there's so much at stake in our life. that if we don't make ourselves different, we don't make situations different, that somehow some kind of catastrophe will have occurred. So the invitation with self-inquiry is to look a little closer just look a little closer at what is really here. What are the components of experience? What's actually happening beyond the stories we're telling, beyond the beliefs we have about what's going on and what needs to go on? And we can see there's just images, sounds, feelings, and thoughts. Can we not be with any of these? I mean, are there thoughts, sounds, images, feelings we cannot be with? Is that really true? Is there anything present right now that we can't be with? Was there anything present in our entire day or week that we couldn't be with? That we had to avoid? When we look close like this, we see that all our anxieties and fears are like uh, you know, ghosts or imagined monsters. They're just sort of images of the mind. And the more we run, the bigger they seem to become. The more scary, the more impossible to cope with to face. So it's just switching, we just switch that habit of running, rather than running from what's here, trying to avoid what's here, we just look plainly at what is present, what's really here. Again, beyond the stories, beyond the thoughts about what's here, 
just want his hair. And what's here is so thin, so subtle, so impossible to interpret. You know, is this good or bad right now? Where do, where do we even begin to look? So with this looking closely, we can just see that there's no problem. There's really no problem. There's nothing that must be avoided at all costs, nothing that we can't be with, no situation that's not manageable. And this is the reality that we're living. Beyond the imagination, beyond the fantasy, the nightmare, we just come home to the reality. We can see there's really no threat to this. There's just nothing that mustn't happen.